Hey guys, it's Dustin. Today we're going to take a look at the WP25. Hey guys, as I said in my video the other day, I participated in a group buy for casualreef.com. Uh, the group buy was for the Jago pumps, the wave makers. Uh, we were able to purchase WP40s or WP25s. I already had a WP40. Many people have seen the, the review that I did on that. Um, got a lot of mixed reviews on my review, but anyway, for those of you who are watching this and have watched the last one, I tested it out on a 29 gallon last time. It said in the videos that the 29, the fact that I was putting this on a 29 gallon might be the whole issue, that the glass was too thin. I explored the options with uh, Fish Street, which is who I brought, bought the uh, pump from last time. Um, they were more than willing to send on another unit just to test it out. It turns out it was the thickness of the glass since then I put that WP60 on my 65 gallon with a Coralia 750 blowing back into it, kind of diffuse some of the, the flow and it's beautiful, works awesome. So not had any issues. I definitely do recommend these pumps. They're fantastic. Everyone that I've seen that has ever gotten one has just raved about how great they are. So today I'm going to take you through, this is one of the newer, it's the second generation WP25. Um, the, the changes, and I'm going to go through some of the differences between this and my WP40. The new WP40s are almost identical to this, just obviously a, a slightly smaller ver or a slightly larger version. So I'm going to take you through the contents of the box here real quick. Start out with just some little packaging. Put the pump in place. So here's your the actual head unit. Um, it's first time opening it, first impressions of it. It's probably it's less than half the size of the WP40. Um, has the same mounting bracket style. They've actually beefed it up a little bit. It looks like to avoid the issues with uh, the magnets being too too uh, strong. I'm guessing I could put this on any size tank or put the new WP40s on any size tank and not have issues with the magnets slowing down the motor. As with the other, the WP40, we've got the little screw in power adapter here. It's going to go into the power supply they provided. Uh, magnet on the back which is still very strong. Um, just like every other you know in tank magnet kind of deal the corral is. They put a piece of glass in between the two magnets and bam you're on. And of course the actual mounting bracket itself. Like I was saying this didn't used to be like this. They have actual little spots now for the uh, the pump to sit into the wave maker um, and then a kind of a hollow, hollowed out area here for the wave maker to sit back to it looks like that's an improvement based on what I've seen out of the WP40 that I have that I'm happy with but uh, you know I definitely noted that as a as a possible room for improvement it looks like they've done that um, go ahead and slap this back on yeah, as with the WP40 this thing you can put it on the on the pump anywhere um, can, maneuver it around, point it in any direction you want to, um, and then just mount it inside the tank. Let's go through the rest of the box real quick. Alright, so the controller. There's actually not much in the box. It's good. So we've got the controller here. Um, this is one thing I'm going to definitely be able to point out some, some major differences, some major improvements that I, that I really like. Um, that At the price point I just didn't think it was possible for them to do. So what they've done here is we have a couple of new functions. So on the WP40 that I have, the first generation, you only had four different options here. One, two, three, and else. Now we have H1, H2, H3. We also have S1, S2, and S3. The S1, S2, S3 are speed controls. So I can lock the, the speed down so that it's not going full bore. So in a 65 gallon tank with an MP40 this would be helpful because I wouldn't have to overwhelm my tank with all the flow. That WP40 puts out an insane amount of flow. I've been told these WP25s do as well but we'll see. So later on in the review I'll go through each one of these different speed settings and kind of show you what the function is. Today I'm going to be using a 20 gallon long tank. It's something that I've uh, been working on in the future. It's going to be a rimless uh, project that I'll be posting up on my channel so definitely take a take a chance to subscribe. Go ahead and take a moment to subscribe and, and come on back and check that project out as well. 
I'm also be doing updates on this WP25 and the WP40 as uh, as time goes on to show the you know hopefully that the pump is is hanging in there. Uh, the only other thing in the box is the DC power control or the DC AC DC adapter. It's just the the plug. So I'll go ahead and show that to you real quick. We've got the plug. The AC adapter goes into the bottom right here. Boom. And then the actual pump itself is going to plug into that little deal that I was showing you before. So these two in together and then you just have to make sure you line up the, the holes, slide them together and then screw it down. Um, so for now I'm going to go ahead and get this thing hooked up and uh, I will get back to you guys here shortly uh, with a demo of the, the new WP25. Thanks guys.